Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more It's Leo speaking. Today I'm going to show you how you can create the basics of a simple uh, synth um, using just nodes. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is an empty patch. I'm inside the standalone version of Odulus. And what we are going to explore is this synth category. When you go inside, you see a number of nodes, which we are going to explore one by one um, in the coming tutorials. Today, we're going to focus on the oscillator node and also on the ADSR node, which are quite standard, but it's worth going through how they work because you can use them, of course, when you build your own module. So let's start with the oscillator. Click, drag and drop. Now, double click and we zoom in. As you can see, you have an output. You have a selection here of the different type of waveform. And then you have a number of inputs. You have Hertz, Amplitude, Sync and Shape, which change the parameters, uh, some of the parameters of the waveform that is selected. So let's zoom out a little bit. So how do we use it? So let's first of all add uh, a output module. Here we go, and let's make the connection. As you will hear, there is no sound coming out from uh, um, the audio output, and that's because you need uh, um, information about frequency and also amplitude as well. So as you know, let's go to the month category and let's drag and drop an expression node and connect it to Hertz. Now, let's select that, let's go to the inspector and let's type a frequency for one note which I put 110 hertz quite low. Again, you don't hear any output yet. That's because you need to actually set what will be the maximum and um, minimum amplitude. So in this case, I connect another expression node to the amp um, input, and I change the expression node to something like one. And you will hear straight away um, sound coming out from uh, the oscillator node. W the fact that I added uh, one to this expression here for the amplitude means that the wave shape will be um, between one and minus one. Okay, so how do we prove um, that? This is the time where I like to introduce you to another wave, to another node, which is under the meta category and is the waveform node. Let's click and drag and drop here. Let's make the connection from the output of the oscillator node into the waveform node. Now, this node works very well for low frequency, but it's not very good for high frequency. So let's go to the expression here node and let's change the frequency to something like one. And you will see that you have that um, uh, waveform, uh, which is a square or pulse um, a waveform. We can change it to triangle, you can change it to so, you can change it to sine wave. Of course, here, if I was to change in the expression which uh, is providing the amplitude to something like 0 0.5 alpha of it, you will see that uh, the amplitude now here is uh, alpha of it in terms of waveform. Okay, so that is how it works in terms of amplitude. Okay, so next, what we are going to uh, show you is how to use the shape input. So as you know, you can drag and drop a knob node and connect it to the shape. Now let's select something like square. Let's select um, <clears throat> a frequency that is audible to us, like 110. And let's change the shape now. Okay, quite straightforward. Now let's change back the frequency to something like one so that we can see the uh, waveform and let's set it to triangle like so. Now let me show you how the sync input works. And um, to show you that, I'm going to introduce you to another node, which is the toggle node, which is used very much 
um, as you can see, you can click here to toggle on and off and you have an output. And if you select it, it says it's an on off switch. Okay. And you can use these to actually give a gate signal or a, an empty signal. And as I do these, you will see the cycle will restart. There. You can see it has restarted. And so this, this is how you use the sync. So you can actually resync the oscillator. So hopefully that is um, quite straightforward. Now let's um, remove um, a couple of things, like for example, these two uh, nodes. And let me show you how you can use the ADSR node. Click, drag, and drop there. Okay, so it's a typical um, ADSR. So when you have your attack, dec and decay, sustain, and release, you have an output and you have also an input for uh, uh, the gate. So again, I can use the toggle now that you know how it works to, for the gate, like so. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to the math category and drag and drop a product node and I connect this product node to the output and then I take the um, output the oscillator plus the output of the ADSR, so the two of them. So in this way, I can control the uh, level of the oscillator using the ADSR here. Now, you can uh, add uh, knobs for each of these input for the attack, decay, sustain, and release. But for simplicity, I'm going to actually add uh, only one knob and um, I'm going to uh, connected to all of them with the exception of sustain because I don't want to have a sustain. So um, let's change again the frequency to something which is uh, audible. So let's select it like so, 110. You don't hear anything yet. Let's toggle. So it's gone up because we have attack and then it's going down to the gate uh, as well. Try again, off, on. And if I wish to um, decrease the frequency again, so you can see better what is happening here. Now, let me show you what happens on. Oops, let me uh, reconnect the output here of the product into the waveform. So it's nothing because we don't have the toggle on and off. Let's do it up so you can see it's going up from the attack and then coming down because of the decay which is set here. Of course, you can choose, you can have different knobs for each of the different inputs. You can expose all of them. So a lot that you can do. So let's recap what we have introduced in this tutorial. So you have seen from the synth category how to use the oscillator and the ADSR node. I have introduced from the meta category the waveform node. Okay, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.